So in part one we spoke about all the different options that there are in Vox Commando uh, and now I'm going to take you through uh, editing the uh, the tree of all the different commands. Under edit this is where you can make alterations to your tree. Uh, so my tree a little bit longer than the existing uh, Vox Commando one that you saw from the installation. Uh, James is probably uh, rolling in his armchair uh, right now thinking what has this Englishman done he's uh, made a mockery of my Vox Commando he's put in far too many unnecessary options that he could have consolidated and, and whatever else it's probably not the most efficient installation in the world uh, so I apologize to its creator um, and yeah this is this is mine anyway so uh, in Vox Commando you have uh, your commands obviously and your commands are made up of the actions themselves and the thing that triggers those actions. So if I double click on the uh, lightning bolt here it takes me into what the actions are going to do and if I double click on here I can change the word that I'm going to use to make that action happen. So fairly self-explanatory so far really. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of stuff in here already so I'm going to show you how to edit commands to begin with and then I'll show you how to create commands separately afterwards. Um, so the listen command for example I've added a couple of things I added an event ghost action uh, to wake my screensaver up because what I found was on the night skin if you have the screensaver running uh, then when you wake um, Vox Commando up and you say a command it doesn't perform the command it stops the screensaver and then you think to yourself well, why did nothing happen uh, and then realize after 10 minutes of playing around with it in fact it's because the screensaver is stopping the command from going through uh, so that was annoying so I uh, created an event ghost action which literally pr presses one of the F11 or F12 keys um, uh, and that wakes the screensaver up uh, I could have achieved the same thing in Vox Commando but I came from using event ghost uh, before I started using Vox Commando and so I was more familiar with it uh, so obviously this is one of the first commands I created uh, and I, I set it so that Vox Commando sent an event ghost trigger to the wake screensaver up and event ghost in turn presses one of the F keys to, to shut the screensaver off. It then plays a short sound which is the uh, Star Trek door sound uh, that you've probably heard in my video um, and then it soft mutes XBMC to 80% uh, that's because I want XBMC to be quiet whilst I'm talking so that she, so that Vox Commando can hear me hear me properly. So as long as she can hear me shout out her name, she will then turn all the volume down to 80% so that she can hear the rest of my commands. Um, the next uh, command after this for her to ignore me uh, will then set the XBMC volume back to 100%. Um, and so you're thinking, oh, have I got to stick all these codes in? Have I got to remember all these codes? Of course not. If you click this little wizard uh, button here, you get the options there to choose from. Uh, and the XBMC listen to me command is there. Uh, the switch XBMC off command is there. The standby command is there, etc., etc. So all you do is you select one of those. So if I go to add an action, uh, so if I click on add action, it's blank as you can see and then choose say uh, XBMC to uh, standby I've already created this one obviously uh, there's nothing to fill out here because that is just a, a very straightforward command XBMC stop listening to me um, so there's nothing to add there some of the other commands obviously require something to be in there for example the text to speech if you wanted to have it say something uh, at this point you can have speak and whatever you type in here is whatever will be said so just as a demonstration you've got to save and execute button here which will save the command and it will test it for you hello this is a test okay so you can see it performed all of those things it did the wake of the screensaver in the background uh, it played the doorbell sound from Star Trek uh, it set XBMC to 80 obviously there's nothing playing at the moment and then it said hello this is a test I'm obviously going to get rid of that. Ignore me. There you go. So I've got an ignore me command as I've just demonstrated. If I cancel out of that, I've got this don't listen option here. From here, you've got uh, the ability to add more than one type of um, one type of phrase. So I've got stop listening, ignore me, don't listen, 
and standby. And the more you add, obviously, the more of a human experience you're going to have with your computer. Uh, she'll listen to any of those things. Similarly, uh, if I had added in uh, alongside this is a test, and then I'd put uh, a pipe. I could have then added um, hello. And each time uh, this command was initiated, the computer would use one of those two phrases at random. And you can add as many pipes as you want, and obviously the more pipes you add and the more phrases you add, the more of a human interaction you're going to get. Um, my computer says different things to me when I walk in the room, because as I walk in the room, uh, I say, hi honey, I'm home. And uh, Chloe performs various actions off the back of that, and she uh, gives me a different greeting each time. Uh, cancel that off. Just quickly uh, refer back to everything we've been through so far. Okay, so I haven't actually shown you yet. Uh, there are multiple options in here for XBMC already that James has created. Uh, XBMC new miscellaneous are obviously the newer stuff that he's created. XBMC simple actions are things like play, pause, those sorts of things. Uh, if I go into that option there, uh, you can see it sends an XBMC action 12. If you go into alter this, it actually tells you where you can find the rest of the ac actions that you might want to fill in. Um, so this is a send command and it sends action 12. Uh, there's a big list of all the different things you can send to XBMC. So if you created a brand new uh, action in here, you could go and look at all the different things that XBMC had to offer and you could add them in. Uh, it then triggers an event, vox commando standby. So if I cancel this off, I'll show you what the trigger event is. So this allows you to uh, create events as well as uh, dictations. So I can dictate with my voice to stop listening to me, uh, or I can have an event which I've labelled vc.standby. Um, and the play pause section has this trigger event option here, which is a, a vox commando, uh, it's from your vox commando tree. So if I selected that and added it in, I could then type in the event in its exact format uh, and it would trigger that event. So when I say uh, play or pause or resume, uh, Chloe will immediately start to ignore me again because when I, when I want to stop to, um, what I'm watching to go to the bathroom, I don't want to have to wait 11 seconds for her to ignore me so she can hear Nisha babbling away on the phone and uh, and then causing Chloe to do all sorts of different things. So rather than having the standard 11 seconds, I have her immediately ignore me after that command. So if you wanted to set up Vox Commando in exactly the same way as me, you would want to do the same thing with, with certain commands. You'd want to put in uh, this event uh, and set the uh, the don't listen function as an event there. And the way in which I did that was I just added from the payloads here an event. So you can add a phrase I keep saying the word dictation, I mean phrase, or you can add an event. Add an event, and there it is. And I also added a dictation, so I can get her to stop listening to me by telling her, or I can get her to stop listening to me as an event uh, triggered off the back of another command. Uh, so that's a prime example of, of why you might use events. Okay, so finally to finish off then, uh, most of this stuff could be quite easily exported and work within somebody else's uh, Vox Commando, uh, there's like an import export feature. Uh, if anybody wants any of my um, commands that you don't have by default once you've finished your installation, uh, just give me a shout and I shall, uh, I shall give them to you. Um, also, if you've got any questions or anything, I'm happy to help. Uh, I think one of the most useful ones is the, uh, the weather. Uh, so that's quite a complicated thing. Again, not set up by me, set up by one of the very clever uh, lads on the Vox Commando forum. Uh, so he created the ability for um, Vox Commando to look at what the weather is like and to give you suggestions on whether you should have an umbrella or whether you should wear a jumper, etc, uh, etc. Et um, and I quite like that idea, but I wanted it to all mix into to one big thing so it would give me an overview of what the weather was like. Um, it would tell me whether I needed an umbrella or not. Uh, and then it would tell me what the weather was going to be like for the rest of the day as well. So his initial coding was just to tell you what the weather is like right now. Uh, I also had it then uh, forward into the next uh, bit of code using one of the events, as I explained a moment ago. Um, and that 
in turn then tells you what the weather will be like for the day. Uh, I changed some of the wording as well, so all of this is very open, uh, and I changed it to, to maybe suit my more British sense of humour, uh, as you might do too, so you might want to change it so that it says it's going to be absolutely pissing it down outside rather than it is raining. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick demonstration of that. Chloe, what's the weather like? It isn't windy. Current weather, mostly cloudy, 19 degrees, gusts blowing from the south 15 kilometers per hour, and later on today, thunderstorm, high of 22 degrees, low of 12. So you can see there's a, a history here of everything that she's just done, and it did a phenomenal amount of things uh, between me asking what the weather was like, she triggered lots of different events and did lots of different things to give me that answer. Uh, so it's all based on Google's weather forecast, which isn't always 100% accurate, I have to admit. Uh, but it's a nice little thing to wake up to in the morning. Um, so I've added that as an event also, so that when I say, uh, Good morning, Chloe, she follows through with telling me what the weather's going to be like, and she switches the lights on. Um, and, yeah, one day I'll have her make me a cup of tea as well, but I'm not quite there yet. Um... So that is the end of my demonstration really, there is loads more to show you um, but it, it would just get very tedious in one demonstration. Uh, there's lots of little event ghost things that I've done which will switch lights on and off around the room in conjunction with Vox Commando uh, and all it is is that when I give a particular command to Vox Commando it in turn passes it to event ghost, event ghost in turn triggers uh, the Telstick software so I've got a little RF USB dongle in my PC made by Telstick uh, and their software has an event ghost plugin uh, really quite easy to, to do really um, I also have other things to do with uh, I find that the Windows Media Center um, is much better for television than XBMC for live TV uh, and so if I want to watch live TV I have to get the two programs to, s to switch between each other uh, fairly seamlessly uh, and so what I do with that is a, is a bunch of event ghost uh, uh, actions as well that recognize when one window is on top of the other to behave in one way uh, and when I use a voice command to switch back to XBMC the computer behaves in a different way again um, so that's it hope you've enjoyed it I'm sure you haven't enjoyed it at all but I'm sure it's been uh, fairly beneficial to you if you were planning on implementing this uh, again leave plenty of comments if you you want any answers to anything and if you want any uh, XML exporting from Fox Commando because you've seen me do something with it uh, in my previous video that you can't figure out. Uh, just give me a shout and that's what we'll do. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this demonstration. I'm sure you haven't. I'm sure it has however been educational. Um, if you have any questions please leave them for me in the comments um, and if you want any of my XML feed out of Vox Commando to put into your own because you've seen something that uh, that I've been able to do in my previous video that you can't just give me a shout and I'll make sure it gets emailed to you. Uh, thank you very much and goodbye.